Hello friends and welcome to Nag Graphics. In this tutorial, we are going to draw up this design with some bubbles effect, which you can use as a background or as a template. Okay, so let's start drawing up. Firstly, make sure that your smart guides are on. Okay, now pick the rectangle tool and draw an artboard sized rectangle. Change the stroke size to zero and we want to fill it with the black color, but we will not use a jet black fill color but a dark gray kind of color to generate a special effect which you will see in a while. So here in the color panel, I'm entering 40 for red, green and blue values. Now go to the layers panel, lock this layer and name it BG, BG for background and create a new layer. Now again with the rectangle tool, draw an artboard size rectangle and fill it with the gradient color. In the library of colors under gradient, I'm entering the color harmonies group and here I'm picking split complementary 4. You can use any other color combination by the way. Now in the gradient panel, tilt the angle of this gradient by 25 degrees. That is okay. Now with this rectangle selected, go to the transparency panel and pick the color mode of blending to give it this effect and set the opacity to 75%. Alright. Now go to the layers panel, lock this layer and name it BG2 and create a new layer. Name it bubbles. Now pick the ellipse tool, click once here and enter 200 as width and height. Set the stroke size to 10 points and change the fill color to black. With this selected, go to the appearance panel and set the opacity of the fill color to 40%. Now open the brushes panel and pick and drop this circle here. Choose the scatter brush and here in the options for size, choose random. Set the downside at 25% and 100% for upper side. For spacing, set random and set the downside at 25% and keep this at 100%. For scatter, set random again and enter minus 50% here and 50% here. Set the colorization method to tints and here our brush is ready. Now you can delete this ellipse. Now pick the paint brush tool and draw two random paths like this. Select these paths and set the stroke color to white and size at two points. Now go to the appearance panel and choose the overlay blending mode. Now add an effect to these paths. Click here and pick Gaussian Blur. Enter 15 here. Alright, now come to the layers panel and lock these two paths. Pick the paintbrush tool again and draw some random paths. Select these paths, set the stroke size at 1 this time and now come to the appearance panel and edit the Gaussian Blur effect here and reset the value as 5 for these paths. Alright, now we will again repeat this action, come to the layers panel, lock these paths, pick the paintbrush tool again and draw some random paths. Select these paths, set the stroke size at 0.5 this time and now come to the appearance panel and edit the Gaussian Blur effect here and reset the value as 1 for these paths. Alright, finally we will treat these circles which are coming out of the artboard, pick rectangle tool and draw a corner to corner rectangle, come to the layers panel. Unlock all the parts of this layer, click here to select all the material of this layer, go to the object menu and make clipping mask. And here we are, the design is ready. I hope you like this tutorial, express your views by hitting like or posting comments and don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming tutorials.